Hey, what's up? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching Sit Down. John Fratelli here with us. What's up, man? How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. It's, uh, it's an interesting time out there, but I feel like music is a good thing to be listening to right now. And you and the band have a new song, Strangers in the Street. So how did it all come together? Um, I kind of can't remember now exactly how it began. Um, uh, somebody had the idea. Um, like it wasn't me because generally I don't have the good ideas um, but I, I loved the sound of we had that song already we had recorded it for the record that we had made that should have come out uh, this month which has been put back now um, so we had that song already and it had been mentioned that uh, that it was kind of a shame that, that I, I had sung it rather than it, rather, rather than somebody else, it kind of it, and and you know we had a laugh about that, but I I, I knew what I knew what was meant by that. The the, the is the style of the song it was kind of crying out for, uh, well basically it was crying out for P. P. Arnold. It, it turned out in the end, um, and then you know we we had a bit of a little bit of trouble putting it together given that this was as soon as everything had been locked down uh, but you know given that all four of us were in different locations um, we, I think we managed to put, put everything together fairly well. Yeah it's a really beautiful song it's really melodic and it really hits you right in the heart so why do you think this one will resonate with people especially right now with everything going on in the world? You know I'm, I'm not the jury's out for me on, on whether it'll resonate uh, for people, especially right now or not. I, I'm, I'm only ever interested in does it, does it resonate with them at all? Um, you know, I think uh, it'll resonate with anybody who might have had their heart broken. Yeah, what does, every, what does everybody? <laughs> um, so, you know, look, I, I, I think uh, you know, but, but whether whether that really applies to now, like it, it may do. Um, I, I I just I, I tend to think more generally than that. How about for you and the band? What's it been like on this whole journey? You know, from the start of it to you know really becoming an international sensation in terms of people knowing your music all over the world. What's it been like for you guys? Uh, it's been it's been fast. <laughs> you know. Um, it's, it's it's incredible how quickly these things these things go because uh, we I mean we've kind of officially been a band for you know 15 years now and uh, you know it's it's gone by so quickly uh, which means it's very hard to hold on to to detail in terms of memory um, but. You know, I, I, on the whole, it's been pretty good fun, and we've had probably more good fortune than we deserve sometimes. Um, but you know, it, it we, we got what we wanted. All, all any, you know, there's three of us. All, all we ever wanted, each of us, from a particular age, uh, was to be able to 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 do what we get to do. And it's a kind of, uh, it's a fairly privileged place to, to be. So we're, we're incredibly lucky because the truth is, you know, we can't do anything else. You know, we're, we, at this point, we are unemployable. Um, so this kind of has to work. <laughs> this is the only option and thankfully it's worked out. It really was, the, it was only the ever, it was only ever this. <laughs> there was no backup plan? Like this was the only- never plan. a backup plan. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I'm glad it worked out for you guys. And like you said, you've been doing it for 15 years, multiple albums, and you know, I know it all kind of blends together, but I'm sure Chelsea Dagger kind of sticks out a little bit separately. So what do you remember about that time and just how it became a smash kind of all over the place? I mean, I don't remember a whole, very much about, I mean, I, 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 I definitely remember not, not thinking it was that special, you know, <laughs> and, and not thinking that people would be that would pick up on it um, and that's kind of still the case 
But I do remember there was this period where you, you just started to hear more and more people w would tell you that it was, that it was being used uh, here and there and everywhere. And there was a certain point it seemed like, you know, you know, where is it not being played? You know, because it, it, it was so so consistent, um, and it. I, I won't argue with it. You know, like uh, I, I don't have to think that it's the greatest song in the world to appreciate how helpful it that it is. You know, uh, and you know, it's also, you know, my my, my fifteen year old self. Uh, mm -hmm. Would, would think it was pretty damn cool, you yeah. know. That's the strange thing about music is that you can create songs that you and your mind think are better or that will hit more. And then all of a sudden, here's one where it's like, yeah, it resonates with me at a certain time, but then for whatever reason, it becomes a cultural touchstone. Exactly. And you know, that you have no say in that, you have no control right. over that. It's, it's a good lesson. It's a good lesson in, in, in you know, and realizing that actually you don't have you don't have a say. How about the new album? Once it comes out this fall, I know it got pushed back a little bit, but what can people expect when they hear that? Well, it, it won't be anything like Chelsea Dagger. Um, I can say that, and and that <laughs> for for lots of people, like that will be a terrible thing, you know. Um, it, it, and I have no no argument with that, you know. That I'm sh it's it's okay for people to want something similar to that all the time but you know that's just not that wouldn't get me out of bed in the morning you know if, if i if i have you know for me to find a reason to get out of bed in the morning uh there has to be something about the day uh that's that has some kind of excitement about it which is gen which generally for me comes from uh the idea that uh I might be able to find something that might excite me musically on that day. If you have enough of those days, you, you end up generally having enough material for, for an album. Um, this is, for me, this is the best record we've made, but then there is a long parade of musicians who, who, who say the same thing, that each, rec, each new record is their favorite record. And this is my favorite record at the moment, you know, uh, until we, we make another one. But um, I, I think it's, it does feel like the culmination of something we've been working towards. Uh, and that in the past, we just haven't been, we haven't had the ability to make uh, the kind of record that we've just made. It's taken us a long time to, to gather together the, 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 the talents to, to make the kind of record that we've made. And I, I think we've been moving towards that. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what happens now though, maybe we have to just retire, you know. Um, uh, but, you know, it, it, any more than that, I, I can't think of any more to say than that, other than that it's colorful. It sounds like a colorful record to me. I think that's a perfect place to leave it. Looking forward to checking it out. Thanks for jumping on, man, and uh, we'll talk to you down the road. I appreciate it. Thank you.